this, this formation. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yes. from DRX, because we, we know that they can sacrifice both sides of the coin in terms of this kind of calculated aggression and, and, and being happy to finish. fight for these first bloods. The, the, arguably the full package, but... It, uh, the timing! Oh, he, he only notes one. He, he's got to know there's more here. He's got to know, and the crunch comes in. Crash, Spike he's going to help him mid. out towards RB. Big impact at the start here. Now Marco gets caught as well. Optic really well Player approached. Uh, beautiful work. Beautiful work. And you're right, this carries on from that prior half, that second half that looked so good to come back in with. And immediately off the bat, this is what we're talking about, being proactive on defense here with Victor. Immediately catching this walk through mid. Now Zest in a 1v4, classic in hand. And Spike, borderline unattainable. Well, F and S, but getting close enough here where he's able to ahead. drift away a little bit and the rest of the reinforcements are here. Oh. Like Zest to really be able to achieve too much in this scenario. And he's making him work for it. It'll work for your dinner. Oh, he didn't actually spot. Oh. He's on the jump up there, but Marv there we go. will find it. An optic will post the pistol round. And this is the thing, whether or not this is a trend now that's going to continue. How eager? I mean, there's, uh, again, Victor just kind of on a solo mission. We saw that a number of times on the scent. We were talking about Ye kind of making these solo attempts to, to find these opening engagements. We'll have to see how many different looks Optic have for this on the defense. Well, that's the question, isn't it? I don't want to see that aggression. I still want to see these players having to kind of push constantly and kind of be the proactive player, be the one to be just testing the waters constantly because I just don't think you can let DRX have that game plan work out so well. The formula they have just perfected just can't be theirs in hand. If it happens, well, we'll get another first half like we had before. However, Optic this time looking way better equipped for this. And of course, on the other side, it's purely classics. So it shouldn't be too much of a strain for Optic. Crash is confirming those suspicions they may have. And yay, oh, so ready for it. More shots to play with as well. Victor gets overwhelmed. Kind of left in no man's land there. Crunch down. Crash takes a little bit of chip damage, but still yay stands. And when Ye stands, Ye delivers. One enemy remaining. And it's all done. Clean enough. Yes, the loss on Victor there, but that's fine. You'll keep those four standing and move forward in a great position. Nothing really to you there. Crashy's already, sorry, doing some progress towards his Hunter's Fury, just three away. Nothing really to write home about on the side of DRX either, but as we come into the buy round here, Ye actually going to throw the Operator early. in the mix. Very early on, around Lost three Operator, cannon? yep. Ooh, that's scary to me. It, it is very scary. Whether or not we're going to see him actually swing out here, try and find a, a deep pick. The two on the other side of this is stacks and RB. They've got to know there's a chance this would come out to play, but I'm curious to see what they look like as soon as that is fully confirmed in attendance. But yay, proactive. Look at this guy. He's just walking it. Okay, Al drone to compliment as well. Enemy spots RB. And sets Ye into motion. There are two players here, though. It's not just RB alone, as Mike said earlier. But Ye's not stopping. He wants as He's much so of this map now. as his own. Look at this. He's literally taken over half of the map, of what? course. Stacks? No. 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 How? How did that happen? How are they so aware of the possibility of that? We were talking about how deep the setup was in Ascent just to greet some of the aggression on the side of Optic and how composed they were, how happy they were to, to sit for most of the round, even coming down to this similar sort of time now, 40, 45 seconds left on the clock. It's just FNS here on B site. Teammates are a million miles away from this. Pop flash is good. FNS dealt with. Yeah, that is just... I, that that first pick alone is is, is crazy to me, and, and and I've got to say, you want to keep that off. Yeah, they got it. You don't have to. There's, there's no, to, you don't even get a look back in it. Yeah, it's a five v three, but no, you're, you're you're saving that. I just can't believe they were so Here. ready for it. Just the back of really like an owl drone and a deep hold. I mean, he he cleared that with intention. And how many times do we talk about that, right? That that co concept of you got to clear everything with intent of a player potentially being there. And it's so easy to say it, like a throwaway comment, but to see someone like that doing it so just rigorously at this point in the game, the, just the chance that op could come out. So very well prepared, it seems here. Well, another important kill. We talked about, we talked about actually after the previous map, that kill on to FNS yeah. over in three on Ascent. It's these sort of things. It, it's the, the consideration of everything on the side of DRX. Yes. Wow. We'll respond here with round three. 
Okay. See again, if this gets quelled a couple of times, it. Mm. Oh. Look at it. Look at the e. It's just. <laughs> And Stacks is good at this game, the isn't he? Crouch peak as well. It's Dirty. Just... Oof. Okay. I mean, yeah, that 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 is it's a perfect example of just how sharp the RX are. These individuals are just insane. They, they really are quite the amalgamation of, as I said, all that theory craft and then just that dash of power on top. That's Yay on the other side, by the way. That's Yay. Who doesn't miss? No, he doesn't. Yay is solid as a rock. This guy is damn good as well. He's still trying to find it. He's still trying to be the instigator here. Be, be playing a little deeper. Get in their face. Still have to pick yourself back up off the floor and go again and do it again. It's not an easy task. And look at DRX. Clearing everything. They want to make optics sweat. I think they're anticipating some of these more proactive plays. Now it's the, the tension to build here. Planting the seed. Yeah, he has to... Be conscious of that now, but I think he had the drop back down anyway, so. Another slow burn here for DRX. As they drift back towards A site now. Leave Zest in a little late lurk here towards B. The Owl drone just going to come through. and don't Actually, Ye is unchecked. Yeah, don't completely think unchecked it. in that corner. And actually, the knife going to confirm it's only him there. So lots of information That's for Optic big. to act upon here. Yeah, that high flash came through as well, so they are very certain. Optic are in the right place. And they can leave someone like Ye posted up here. Let the rest hit that rotation. A little blind to the middle, but they're going to explore that for just a second. FNS clears it, but already the site's being taken. Buzz is there, finds Mark. Victor with a quick, quick trade, and Victor actually doubles down. Crashy's perfect right support from screens, and now you're going to see Stax and Zest presented a very dire scenario with 10 seconds, 10 seconds of Spike left. lost on the site. So many bodies in between what they want to achieve, and Zest... Well, you can get close, no more. do a little bit of damage, but that's about it. Beautiful play from Optic as well. You get a perfect flash over the top from Stax to enable Buzz to find that opener, but again, the response is there immediately. Again, it's just interesting to see exactly how quickly this comes through and uh, Victor just responding. And the second one on Tomarco is so clean. That's it. Don't want to see Optic kind of overthinking things too much. With DRX looking to run down the clock here, it's almost like we always talk about kind of building paranoia and, and sure. when Optic want to kind of... Hey, if that Al drone had seen Ye, who knows what the round could have looked like. It could have changed a, a fair amount of how they approached it. But 3-1, to one, it looks like DRX want to hit the brakes for a second. Time to talk options, identify problems, and see if they can come up with a solution, which they generally have been quite good at. But for now, Optic... I mean, potential here for a pace change from DRX. Could be the case. Might come be back what they this, need. Uh, I mean, the, the purchase is comfortable. Rashi does have that Hunter's Fury available. Nothing else at Optic's disposal. He's looking a, a little more invested here towards A site. All five members of DRX present. I'm waiting to see how much they commit to this, though. There's so much utility in their way. Rotations come through so early as well. Yeah, they've pulled the rotations because, once again, Ye can just hold so much space for them. If they're not going to challenge him or try and force him away, he's, he's going to basically allow three quick rotations. The DRX now have to do the job almost twice as hard, right? Because this player's already here. Wall goes up. Plant goes down. Hunter's Fury going to come in. Does get at least a tag on it, but the plant's down. Job done for RB. He'll take that. Obviously not ideal, but you got to take it what you can get. Marco spots out crashes towards middle. There is still Ye on the back lines. Keep in mind, he's not hit that four rotation just yet. We're looking at post plants now. Yeah, burn up the fragment very early actually here. From stacks. Marco does still have a snake bite left to work with, but I think he's got so much time and space to do this here. Oh, the wall's gone. But the spam! It actually caught him. Stacks finds Marv. And Marco still holds the line, and DRX oh. give them a reminder. You got a couple, yeah, Optic, but you ain't getting any more. The pace change was right. It was key, it was focused, and they were so ready in that deep post-plant hold. And that's even with one of the key pieces of utility there being burnt up pretty early on by stacks, but didn't seem to matter too much. I have to see, um, you noted again, Ye kind of being posted up. DRX aren't necessarily aware of this. With them not being noted on the Aldo yep. in that previous round, whether or not they look to address B here or, or in the next. 
Fuck, I'm so sharp. So sick. I, I, I would say, though, like, you know that our operator is in play. Yes. Right? But that's something that's not going to be too surprising. That's That's been happening in the back lines after that save, purely and easily said. I would say, though, that if they can try and navigate around it, you've got to know where Ye is, right? To a degree, to a, to a small extent. Because they've had no contact on that AP, so they had no contact in middle. So it's got to be by process of elimination. All right, you know exactly, yeah. Before. Because it's he's just... not noted anywhere else, then yeah. then they, they must have some sort of idea that Optic are leaning away from that. They're relying on kind of Ye's almost free territory here just mm -hmm. being posted up. The timeout in response comes through from Optic. Well, no, this is gonna, this is going to be an adjustment for them, and that A site looked yeah. pretty well locked down previously. Like I said, the rotation came through at the right time, and I mean they were happy to give it up, playing on the back of Crashy's Hunter's Fury. But I'll be happy to just put his body on the line there to find the plant and allow the RX to really tuck into that post plant, dig their heels in. Yeah, eyes towards what the RX. Come into this round with us initially looking like they're going to put a, a little bit more focus towards B here. And <laughs> while that happens, I'm seeing Yay over towards that A side. Yes, yeah, so actually Optic <laughs> almost kind of, I don't want to say overthinking this, but reading the complete opposite. They want Yay now to be in a position to, to lock down at least mm. towards A site early on. So then what's the change towards that B hold, right? We're going to see this deep wall from FNS, so. So he's going to play a little deeper. <laughs> Back towards site. Okay, so presence shown from DRX towards B long. Maybe trying to bait out Ye, see if they can try and draw some information. That's a huge reveal. I just saw a little ping come through just outside A main there. It's like one's going to be posted up to make sure Ye yeah. doesn't try that push once again. We saw get punished earlier on. My mind always goes back to that, like, you know, avoid C net sort of mentality that yeah, works. Yeah, you know, go where he it, it's working right now. If they're like, okay, just avoid Ye. They've got the right read. And again, not noting presence. They're probably feeling kind of good about this plan. There is still FNS to try and get past it. That's how you do it. But so quick with it. Plan can come in. Can anything deny it? RB is low HP. The reveal is free from Buzz. Keeps him safe. He gets his boy back with him. That's five now standing. I thought RB was dead and gone. This is another round that feels like a really comfortable post plant. I don't know if Optic are considering even... Forcing through on this retake. I mean, Ye very disconnected right now. He's going to be clinging to that operator. See now Victor and Marv just in a position to try and catch an exit potentially, but it's done and dusted. It's it's one of those things that has been spoken about for a long time, though, is being you know, left with trying to you know, cradle this operator through and, and constantly keeping it in play. It does force you into a lot of saves almost instantly. Yeah. It's, it's very hard to try and bring that back in, maybe go for some... And again, throw into the mix that we know those post-plant percentages for DRX are ridiculous. I, I, it is kind of, you're going to see Optic kind of stuck on these sort of, you know, trying to bring over weapons, sitting in, saves a great deal, which can kind of start to crash the economy that they've got building. It's just insane as well. The counter flash is coming through here. Buzz, actually, I mean, the stars aligned for him here to find the mm. spam through that Viper wall. And that's the, the sign for Optic to... Peel away from that B site retake. Again, whether or not we're going to see now, actually, Ye try and put this operator to work. How, How can he do it? Like I said, because you, ha you have to go so deep to punish the RX, and, and actually, they're going to switch things up. You say that after he got punished so hard by I think it was stacks, right? So it's like, hey, keep doing that. You've got to try and make it work. And look at the pace of this, but Marv greets it with a smile, <laughs> finds it, denies it, and Victor holds the line on it. That's remaining. gorgeous work from Optic. Don't pick up the pace on them. They are so ready for it. Again, just perfect awareness of that DRX there. Almost the trademark hit through mid there. Right place, right time for Marv. Great awareness and the Prime Gaming Flawless comes through for them. Victor on the other side of this. Find two kills in Kitchen. An absolute shutdown. A big confidence boost up. She puts the one round ahead now. Mm -hmm. And actually, not too far away. I mean, Victor's got his ultimate online now. Marv's one away from the Viper's pit. Revealing area. DRX will resort back to a wider default here, and that deep wall does come through for FNS on B main. DRX need to, need to deal with this, honestly. Need to kind of relinquish some of this comfort so that Optic will feel behind it. Marco, for the first time, I feel actually just solo going to go exploring through tube here, so 
as if B-Site is the end goal here, at least for the RX. We'll be noted with that, but it's only one player noted. Yeah, and you can see Ye's already started to lean towards middle as well. They're so paranoid about this pressure coming up tube. You can see two players almost keeping eyes towards that mob to a degree as well. They're switching in and out, interchangeably with FNS, but it's Victor to find Marco, so that position, found. That mid-presence, dealt with. So all that paranoia could be removed, especially with that knife revealing that it was only him. Now the rule's gonna go down, the plant's gonna come in anyway. RB will get to keep his life, even till the way out. So, post-plant with four standing for DRX, and five yeah. on the playback in frog kick, and they have to go for it. The no snake bias double eye on here. Ooh. Can't tip it, pop the ult on the back of missing that knife. Still, DRX looking pretty comfortable Buzz. here. Buzz actually forced out by the fragment, but traded out by Crashies. Quick trades for Crashies is essential, and Arby tries to thread the needle, find a bit of timing. Crashies is keeping it all together, and FNS on the back lines. He's just being left to rot, and they're gonna just bound away, make him work for the meal. And they know what they've done to him, and FNS can do nothing about this round any longer. Do a bit of damage, what? sure! <laughs> the the round, it doesn't, doesn't matter, yeah, man. I think you'll be able to Ooh. just gets away. <laughs> Let's go, FNX. Let's see, actually. Sure, they were looking pretty comfortable before that, but in terms of ultimates, I mean... That's the optic slightly ahead on that regard. It's a little bit of misutility, I don't think it mattered too much here, but DRX, like I said, they still look so comfortable. He's able to set up these crossfires here, and even with the, the lack of Marco's utility, which has been the cornerstone to some of their success on B site so far in Reykjavik, at least here on Icebox. Still looked pretty solid. I think the RX now feeling as if they found a, a point of weakness here in Optic's defense. Look how quickly Ye is pushing down Tube, though. This is yeah, fast. Yep. This is really quick. And, and again, no note of a player on the other side. They haven't really explored who's holding that. I guess FNS found some success in trying to play that flank before, so maybe something they want to look back towards. But now they know where he is. Wall to try and dissuade. But DRX much, are locked into this. Yeah, I was going to say, much safer wall, but it's completely ripped away. So no control on the back of that here. Victor will actually find Buzz, though. He actually does close out the kill onto FNS. But look at this over push. Stax, Look at the over -aggress. I love it from Stax. You are never out of danger with this player. And he's going to tuck in on the corner. Do they check on this? They've got to. Surely they have to. If RB and the boys can just take their attention, you can see it with those jump peaks. They get to play him in. Protected though, Stacks gonna note one on the other side. And RB Thank still you. trying to hold this. They have to push this back. Optics, you don't have time for this one. RB's gone down short. But there's still three more players. Snake bite comes in. That's the first. And there's the follow-up from Ye. Still needs to do more. Zest keeps them back again. And yes, the shots are there, but the time is starting to dwindle. And as are the hopes of this round, DRX. Again and again are now just hammering that B site. Absolutely, we saw this execution actually in the in the series versus Zeta, and they look so comfortable when they're able to get this clean plan, this open plan. Again, reverting back to the old school, right? This comfort in the utility. Again, stacks actually digging just as deep, and it's it's pretty much always a solo attempt from him. The wall comes up, the plant goes through, and stacks is just sent on a little solo mission, and able to capitalise perfectly. Zeta's actually making use of the shock darts as well and closes that one out. Like I said, DRX have found their weakness. They want to exploit it here, Lauren. This is going to be gutting. There's, there's nothing more infuriating to losing to a very similar thing over and over. Now that could change it though. This could make DRX potentially reaccount for things. I was going to say, Marv tagged there, but nobody else yep. in position. Close enough. We oh, oh. Um, FNS, FNS, hello? You got a frenzy! How are you getting two frags? What's just happened? I, I think DRX have read that as kind of Marv solo and he's panicked and, and popped his ult there. I don't know if FNS was noted in terms of utility or anything before that, but absolutely makes it work. And oh, hey, actually, no. with another miss, Zest is going to punish so, it. It's so rare to see this. They do have the res, and obviously DRX sure. are going to be forced towards A site, so opportunity for Optic to be fire standing once again. Res can be coming in when CFNS get around to it. They are trying to get towards the site, but 
Denied easy access. Now it has to be with that rifle out mentality. Trying to catch the cross. Not going to get it, but the res comes in. So they know the timer is now ticking on players on the back lines. Chip damage galore, but it's Marv to turn the screws first. Stacks with a quick denial and a pop of the ult as well. Zest trying to hold close sight. Stacks still learn, just lingering around on this. And FNS is closing in. He's still predicted it, but he still gets the shot. Zest, one is all he's going to get. Great play back in by Optic. And FNS, what a mad round. Oh, it's crazy. It's almost actually a, a rare example of just a lack of discipline from DRX. You noted the Aldo did tag Marv, but it baited FNS in perfectly with a frenzy. Really great round. Again, I, I think DRX is thinking, yeah, he's solo. He's popped the Viper's Pit to try and slow us down. Let's try and get a little closer. Maybe you get control of backside yellow that the Viper's Pit didn't cover. FNS. With a frenzy of all things. <laughs> With that and the short team, we've seen enough short team gameplay at this event to last Never us a enough. lifetime. Never enough. Well, Never that's up for enough. debate. Is it? Yeah. Right. I'll find them. Frenzy second in that list, by the way. I love a frenzy. Of course you do. Dead. What do you mean? Get out of my way! You sound like Doug. <laughs> that's horrible. I can't believe you said that. I can't believe you've done this. Um, <laughs> Purchase this time, looking at it, uh, weird from DRX. You got that rifle on Zest, and then it's just whatever they found in the kitchen drawer. One of your favorites. Good. Good. Buzz has got Shorty. It's all right. Arby's got a frenzy. I'm happy. <laughs> we do have the Blade Storm to work with here. Zest actually won off the Hunter's Fury as well, so opportunity to convert this. Four members of Optic, though. Towards A sign, that's the FNS over towards mid. They've adjusted on the back of this deep wall towards B main. It gives them so much control. Almost read right into this hit. I don't think you're gonna get much of a chance with that buzz. Optic playing those deeper lines pretty well. A little bit of chip damage though towards Victor, gotta be careful. That. You can see that the DRX have almost hit the brakes, they've taken a little bit of space. Have to respect the utility to a degree. But they're waiting to see maybe if Optic are willing to go over challenge, potentially over peak something, and they're just not right now. This is disciplined play from Op Optic. Underhand flash, Marco makes it away alive. 30 seconds left. Gonna try and catch this rotation, but already with no pressure Ooh, coming towards sight. Gonna try the same thing again. The trademark again, marked straight into this position, but actually drops down. So, Buzz actually gonna catch this plant. Okay, this changes things. That's at least going to put them in the post plan here. DRX still, I feel like they're working from you know the back foot. Look at the purchase that they've got. It, it's not pretty, and that's not nice, is it? Frenzy on the other side, slowed. Yay! Don't don't go around there. Just go another way. It's a trap around this corner as Crashies is there too. And time's being bought by this. They're desperately trying to clear kitchen. They know the DRX like to dig in deep here, but. How are you going to do it? Buzz ready to put his life on the line for it. Going to be finding Marco at least with Crashies. And Buzz starts to build up. Quick denial. And he actually gets out of there. He turns around. Doubles down and takes down Crashies. But it's only two against two. And he spots out one. Victor now noted below. But on the spike, Stax pulls off FNS. And the timing is gone. The clock has ticked away. A DRX, man, they've got some weird and wonderful looks and making that work on a thrifty round. I always love seeing that, that one, though. Round is always nice. love seeing that one. Again, <laughs> Buzz gets himself in a position to make absolute use of the Blade Storm and potentially the Shorty in that scenario. Optic, unfortunately, I mean, it's almost decided by time here. The fact that Buzz survived, was that 12 HP he went down to? I didn't even catch it there on the replay, but... What a round. Again, Optic have the benefit of coming back through. It almost looked like Marved was ready for He's that ready same for hit it. again, yep. that audible to come through, but he drops <laughs> off sight. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, and a perfect beginning. Well, wow. instantaneously hour. finding Buzz. Res available. So DRX can slow this down a little bit, but it's not necessarily safe. And Marved actually mm -hmm. gets himself into a position to punish the res if it does come. Yeah, you can see that right yep. there. Just going to mark his man. Absolutely worth it. And what does DRX do with this? Because they have to try and re-clear this entire area. They do. I mean, Zest has still got his drone. Okay. And Stax is going to have his knife back off cooldown pretty soon, but depends just how hard they clear this. A lot they're considering Marv has got himself into this spot. Is that wall going to be coming down? Yeah, it does just fall now. The drone going to come through, but it's dealt you with. RB might stick this. Allies. 
Okay, they, they've gone for it and they're gonna leave Optic close enough to be maybe punished off the back. Marv's still gonna find Buzz again though. He's not getting away from this and Zeth's gonna take the space. Marv's still there, still holding. Finally dips away a little bit deeper. You're gonna have FNS playing over by that yellow box. Gonna just have a little bit of a glimpse at it, but again. They haven't made the progress they wanted. Yeah, they pushed them back a little bit on B, but that's about it. Great support from FNS, though, to deal with that left. drone and allowing Marv to punish that res once it comes through. Really heads up stuff from Optic. Yeah, she should actually note two players here as well. This is terrifying. Isolating Marv, they've seen him. Still need that plant though, you know that they want to go for this. FNS still chomping at a bit, turns it on the flash! The support system from DRX is unreal! No opportunity given for Optic there, and the instant lockout with the ult coming in. Five percent makes it that much more impossible. Yay, the 1v4 presented. And he's good, but this is a tall order versus DRX. HP being just ripped away from him. The time was not there. I mean, this has been... This is the sort of map that I wanted to see between these two, Mike, because it has been close the whole way, this back and forth, this building off each other, the information that we had, that ability to avoid yay. So much happened in this first half. I mean, it's not often we ever say yay is absent from any series or any map in particular, but this was actually down to DRX just literally navigating away from him. Yes. Again, the stars align for them. Yay hasn't been absent through poor performance. It's just been through com completely being played out on the map. Yeah, it's it's tailor made the way they're doing this. So, for me, I'm 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 just want that second half to start up already. So hopefully the desks are ready to go because this is a game and a half. We've got a great map too here, guys. Oh man, Pansy, that is right. That was a real nail biter. I just want to jump right in, and we got to start talking about Zest. Okay, he's their <laughs> IGL, and this is wild. He tied Mako and Ye for top kills on map one. He's fragging out on map two, Jess. Yep. He's leading them well and providing firepower. I mean, it's not often that your IGL gets to take a little bit of a front and center stage, do you? I mean, you sit there and you go, yeah, they're the behind the lines, they're leading the pack, you know, from that sort of more strategical area. But Zest, he came alive. I wouldn't say his utility was was you know, shock and awe inspiring, yeah. mm -hmm. but he made up for that in the multi kill department. He was able to get in and get the job done. I really like the way he played off of his teammates there. I also think Derek's came into this with a plan mm -hmm. and they've executed it to near perfection. Mm -hmm. Optic won five rounds, yep. one of them was a diffuse. Right, and it was only because they forced DRX to get into the second plan of what they wanted to go with. This round is a perfect example of that. They have five bits of utility <laughs> for post plan. Two and look mollies. at the lineups. Yeah, so you have two mollies, two shock darts, and the fragment. There, it, it, it almost seems as if though, as soon as DRX gets a spike down, it's a it's a wrap. Right, like there's no easy way in. Again, remember the one diffuse round that Optic won was because they forced DRX into going to plan B. Into, into what was not their intended way to go about it. They had the Sage Wall that they tried to deny with, they had the Viper Molly, they had the Hunter Siri that they tried to deny the initial hit off of DRX with. It just didn't, it didn't work. Which is why I think that they need to come back with the defensive aggression because Doug, yeah. if they don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's over. Oh man, all right, well this is a tight one. Pansy and Hypoc take it away for the second half of Map 2 Icebox. All on the line now, right? It's all in front of them. Optic have a chance, a, a, a real chance. They've kept the scoreline close after what I would say was DRX doing very well at their plan, doing very well at what they wanted. They tried to avoid EA and achieve that, right? Beautiful work on the way back through. But five to seven, it's still it feasible here for Optic. So they have to start with a strong step forward. Definitely doing the pistol round will be the first obstacle for them. Yeah, yeah, actually gonna through actually past the orb here nobody on the other side of drx in position to greet and the wall is actually going to go up going to force optic towards the right side of 410. things will slow down for a moment the presence shown elsewhere either Lauren. they forced away with some utility got to be careful here not to give away this first blood happy to wait for an overstep on the side of DRX, which <laughs> doesn't happen often. No, it really doesn't. Discipline is so notable with them. I wonder how long Victor's going to be waiting for anyone to maybe overstep. I just don't think they will. 
So it looks like, well, Optic now have to be the aggressors. Take a little bit more of the space themselves. Marco's still not entertaining much of this idea. It has opened up a chance for Marco. Are they still watching this? Zest did find Yay, and actually, it's just Optic in body bags right now. Marv, he's got to try and do something. It's just not working. Oh, no. Zest just didn't even know where he's getting shot from, and then Buzz nope. stood behind him. I have Optic found him. <laughs> unfortunately tried to wait out the majority of that utility, but again, DRX happy to just sit on the back of it. Felt no pressure elsewhere. Like I said, no real presence noted elsewhere on the map. Yeah, Marv in a position where he kind of has to wait for something to happen. It's it's not on him in this scenario at all, but DRX just landed all the shots. Comfortable. Barely broke a sweat, honestly. Yeah. And, and they just didn't really fall for anything Optic were trying to sell. No overaggression, no lack of discipline. Happy to just dig in deep, sit there and just say, all right, boys, you're on the attack. We, we don't need to swing any corners. We, we, we can be big chilling. Um, for now, though, you see, of course, the round coming back in is going to be classics. That's about all she wrote. Uh -huh. OK. RB just rips off Crashy's head. Oh, blame Doom. Nice. There's Marco waiting on the back of the site now. So again, this is, you know, Anything would be good for Optic out of this one, considering the purchase, but maybe time to just formulate a plan, get a read of the game as best they can with tangible proof in front of them. Optic going to look to re-explore elsewhere, but Buzz posted up with that Martian. I think with silence falling upon a site, DRX are going to be feeling as if this rotation should come through, at least on the back of Buzz's contact here. That's here. Miss on the first here. FNS will escape with his life. Oh. Not on the second one. Oh. Okay, Buzz. All right. Fair enough. Saw a little bit of that from Scream, but yeah, Buzz is quite good at it too, isn't he? Oh, he's going again. Why not? Yeah, go on, Buzz. Just rail guns him down. And Optic didn't really get anything that they wanted out of that. So, not quite double digits against them yet, but this buy is pretty critical. Yeah, it is. Uh, I mean, this is DRX knocking on the door of double digits. So you need to stop him here. Because that deficit becomes more and more concerning, as we know, with 7-5 half. You don't get too many op opportunities, really, to have a say back in the second half unless you stop him here in round 15. I mean, they've got a bit of buy, right? This would have to be so, like, tailor-made or, or tragic, whichever way you want to look at it. <laughs> For this to not go optics way, but look at the early work. Buzz has pushed himself up here, and I don't. It seems like he's ready. FNS was very prepared for that. And big information found again. Zest though knows what's up. He has to respect that and readjust. Awareness again. Buzz just looking to make use of this spectre and play close contact outside garage, but. Optic on the back of that. A bit of timing could happen here. Yeah, as I say, FNS might be left exposed. Zest up. No, he's actually not going to opt to swing, but oh. he's going to cast the timing. Victor, Victor actually there to actually save FNS, honestly. Yeah, 100%. He it looked like he was dead in the water otherwise. You can see them trying to just find these kind of cheeky moments, these small opportunities to try and punish, but so far, so good for Optic. They've got five standing. They're working towards the site. Nice work from Marv. Bodies down RB, and now Marco and Stax. Not really got. In this Marco's position it could be a nuisance, I guess, Last but yeah, he's all alone now. So Optic doing perfect work. This is exactly what I want to be seeing. Marco shouldn't be still alive. But this he is. is weird. Thirty seconds left. <laughs> oh, come on, FNS. It's, just, it's a formality. State HP. There we are. Lovely. Right. So Optic do exactly what was needed. Right. A clean round not falling foul to any of the little tricks and, and ideas and concepts that maybe DRX are trying to come up with, it's good. That's four standing and four rifles now to be filtered back around if needed. Great awareness from FNS as well, just to hold for a pick like this. And that's Victor right there. We talked about bailing FNS out. Because Zest actually had god timing there as soon as FNS went for that mid wall. Really, really well handled there by Optic. Force a full repurchase out of DRX. Again, that's the optic leading in terms of this ult cycle as well. Victor one off his ultimate. The res not too far away, and again, optic Buzz. happy to play this out very slow. And Buzz gonna try and take the space. Great here. flash. The flash at least gave him an opportunity, and he does get away alive. 33 HP, barely breathing, but still standing. 
Evanes with a spike though, a little further ahead than the others. You gotta be a little cautious on this one, because that could get lost in no man's land, and Marco now aware of it. There's pressure coming in, but he's still on his own. He needs some support here. Finally, the boys make it up there with him, and Marv's gonna find Sax's number. Quick follow-up as well, Marv's not stopping, he's gonna find Buzz too. Now as much as they're trying to crunch towards this, pinch back into this, Zest gonna try and find a fight on it, and Victor still looking around for it. He's right in between them all. The wall goes up, and FNS just tries to buy a second of time here. Good position Victor's got into though. He's actually got himself all the way back into spawn, and that's actually gonna pull Optic back towards A. Had perfect knowledge of RB's rotation. Oh, crashies. Surely Zest doesn't ch He does! There's a bit of a lazy clear and he gets punished for it. Crash, he's fine. Zest, and now that's one of those rotations instantaneously denied. Great work from Victor there to find that timing. It's just RB left. I don't know if he can do any damage here in this round. Force. <laughs> Optic to repurchase. Crash, he's will fall. Again, don't expect him to find another here with where FNS and Victor are positioned. Again, great response initially. I mean, the, the, the flash looked perfect for Buzz. I think just a second's hesitation on which corner initially to clear. And he wasn't able to find that open up. Optic will find their seventh. Bring it within two here on Icebox. So RB did look to challenge towards FNS there, but not really worth it. We want to try and hold on to this with, again, untagged. We'll hold on to the light shield as well, but... Uh, there was, it felt like so much time that FNS is isolated here. The DRX, is, they, they literally can't close out that kill. With somebody in window kind of cutting off that, those reinforcements coming through mm. from mid. It's really unfortunate for them, but I'll say a missed opportunity there by DRX. Yeah, but what a moment now for Optic to potentially start bringing that scoreline right back all even almost. Right, this, this hero rifle that Buzz has. A little bit of light armor behind it and some sheriffs. Four is in the board. Surely this is Optic getting eight now. Poison's off. Uh, I say that. Buzz. Buzz. All the way through. Caught him sleeping. If, if, if they are not going to be keeping control of that, the chance is not going to get aggressive in these rounds. That's a, a pretty respectable punish from DRX. And now Crashies, that's his job to deal with now. He has to be so aware of the chance that someone's going to over push that. He has to get a punish Marco as well. Stacks. Tucked all the way into spawn. Can DRX find anything else in this round? We've got the rifle, right? So you've got RB and Buzz now, both better equipped, but they just don't have any step towards the site. They held a little bit of CT, but now it's yet the other hand flush! Are you joking? He stacks! You are something else! Catching Victor too? One was enough, and Crash is ain't clean with it right now. He got a tag, and it's not going to do enough of what he needs. And now FNS, where are you in this? And you're dead! They are just swinging him down! Crash, he's desperate to try and do it. But now time. Has he bought enough time? On the defuse. Just gonna hold this down as best they can and pray no and keep their breath. Point zero four, Lauren. <gasps> no way Optic closed that out. Crashies with the heroics. The Hunter's Fury perfectly Just timed. Somebody with full HP. I don't know why they didn't stick the first half, but it was a low HP member of DRX, I think, initially, that gets on this half to fuse. There's a tap. Oh, my word. <laughs> I felt like that one was in the bag for DRX. Yeah, with no right to it either. That yeah. was a hero oh. rifle and a little bit of a, a lazy beginning for Optic, just not holding that push up. What a crazy word. round. Stacks going huge, Zest going huge for DRX, but Optic still close that one out. So they can build upon that now. A little bit of adjustment actually in terms of Marco. His B site hold this wall here set up specifically for the retake. And now Marv going to be hyper aware of any aggression coming through on the side of the Buzz, but it's just him with an operator to hold down a site, Lauren. And Optic. They want to swing back that direction. See, it's, it's a very deep angle held by Buzz, actually. Yeah, it is. Actually, just destroying the wall is going to pull a little bit of a rotation out of DRX. They're going back towards B, though. It's it's kind of like a double fake for now, almost. <laughs> Trying to give the idea of them. I mean, expect Marco to kind of play anti-plant here, at least slow things <laughs> down, do a little bit of damage with the snake bite, force them off. 
It's sort of free setup here. 30 seconds left. Okay. Oh, wall goes down. See, the damage has to respect it. Yeah. Can't get the plant in. And now that utility pulls through. And leaving it this late will allow that utility to do work. So they need Ye to get busy. Try and find them some safety for this plant because they've got 13 seconds. Nothing else can stop this. If it denies it, it's a problem. Ye yeah, still going to do well. Zest with the trade out, though. And Hunter's Fury coming in as well. Zest going to send it down, try and clear space for the boys to try and make the play. But Mart! Mart! Almost made a meal of it, but he keeps control and optic. Tie things back up. We've got a game on our hands, finally. Beautiful work from I, I mean, so late in that lurk, but he comes through in the perfect timing just to still catch that Zest in that Hunter's Fury. Given the space and absolutely makes DRX. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. And, and again, DRX, it, they're desperate to stop this plant from going down. But then after that, it, it almost seems like there's a real lack of consideration in terms of the approach to the retake. I mean, yes, this wall's up, but I mean, you've got to expect Stacks to be the one to pop flash through there. Too much variety yet from Optic no. in, the, in the buy rounds. So again, this is going to be such a long an arduous task to try and unravel what Optic are up to for DRX. I don't think we've seen an awful lot of variety in terms of DRX either. There's been a couple of rounds that Buzz is actively hunting for these first bloods. Again, it's not in the rounds that DRX can really make it count, to be honest with you. This is probably not going to be one of those, but it does have the Blade Storm. Sheriff's across the board. Optic Gaming now sit on the Res, the Viper's Pit, and the Tour de Force. So lots of tools at their disposal, but if you want to I can play, see. let's play. That's actually the shot. Oh, He's going. Actually, it's missed it. straight up here. Buzz still Five finds two. A. Takes down Ye and Marv. Can they make anything more of this? Because Obi hasn't stopped either. A little bit of chip damage, but the rifles reign supreme. That's tough because in this round, in particular, FNS has the reds, so they can completely cancel out this first blood and the second kill as well. Still have themselves an advantage. These weapons un unretrievable here for DRX as well, so have to ride this one out. With the Sheriff's Victor actually going to find the last tag onto Marco there. That should be the green light. Zest, the next one up here will be dealt with handily. Well, Stacks can do anything else in this round. FNS actually will catch the audio cue. Knows exactly where Stacks is coming from. Oh. See, stacks went down. There we go. Right. Optic 10. Now that was all basically on does Buzz find some like mad amount of impact? He did find two, but as you highlighted with the res still in play, I guess they bring that out, but a 10 9 Optic in the lead. Let's see what DRX have in store, because that timeout should have been for this round. So we'll see how they try and adjust off this. Still good. Flash is actually perfect there as well. Didn't even note that in there just because it wasn't the two kills that came through didn't have didn't an assist on the back it, of yes. them. But Let's see what it did though. Well, I mean, with that there in, in, in that round, does it force Optic to play a little slower here? Enemy. Still going through the motions here. The Owl drone out onto A site. Actually, look how deep Victor's playing behind it you as well. Are powerless. The pop and the ult. So Victor really giving this notion of there's a lot of presence here, but it is just him. They've respected, they've fallen back, and this could play in really well towards F and S potentially trying to go for a punish through Kitchen. Buzz. Got to be the power player here for DRX. He's on his own. He's yeah. on an island right now. Mob. Mob with the backstab. Look at that. Beautiful punish through Kitchen. Just that pop of the ult forced them to play deep towards the back of Kitchen. Ooh. Buzz still though standing. Spots one towards Yellow. He's going to isolate it. Finds it. Takes down Ye. Goes back for more. But Victor in the back line still doing work. Still a chance in this for DRX. It was that man right there, but he can only do so much as FNS took so much space away from them. It had to be the one to make a play here. Unfortunately, Buzz falls. Just leaves Marco left here for DRX. And a 1v3, Spike planted on B site. Again, Optic playing deep, very disconnected from this. Actually, perfect sightline for crashes as well. Marco. Should be crashes, right? Yeah, little step. Okay, player noted. Good shot. 
Still a little bit of time to play with here. And the follow up, oh, he's dangerous. Sean FNS, oh, man. he's dangerous. I thought that was just, you know, like a formality almost, but no, Sean, there's a little bit of threat to them. But it's 11 now for Optic. And look at this streak that they've gone on. It's after dropping the first two as well. Also with DRX. Well positioned to close this out. After that initial save, 7 5 in the first half as well. Huge advantage to come into the second half with, and then to get the pistol and round two. It was a great call. Optic looking honestly flawless right now on their attack in half. This is something to watch, man. This gives you hope, right? Like you're looking at map three now, it's looking so feasible. Impatience being displayed by Optic here. Holding the line. Waiting to see if there's any of that aggression, any dabble of a new look coming through. Anyone getting overzealous potentially from DRX, because you don't often get them, you know, playing from from behind. Yeah, you're gonna start taking that space towards the middle of the timing. You're gonna force the shot out by the Aldrone. That resets everything now. Again, it's gonna be Victor to be the tip of the spear for Optic towards A site here. Let's have Marv in support this time around. How deep he wants to explore as RB. Speaking of exploring, he's drifted through towards mid here, down tube. He might actually catch this rotation, or at least the cross back towards eight. At least here's all of this information. Yeah, you can see it immediately that's relayed. Yeah, Marco quick to try and put up the defenses, but the flash. Well, Victor! Victor! What a god tier entry work from Victor. Zest still trying to find a bit of room to work, but actually RB's there with him as well. Victor goes down. This round ain't over just yet, but Zest has to face some music. He can't stand anymore. And Optic just explosive in approach. And DRX can't withstand the pressure. Buzz tries to play on the flank, punishes Ye. But they're still too alive. In the old 13 seconds, they've got to get the split down. It's a flash and a drop. Stacks from above, death from above. Stacks gets DRX back on track. Beautiful stuff after Optic have the advantage on the way in there. You can see as soon as that information is relayed, Marco immediately hits that Viper's Pit, but straight away stripped away from DRX. Victor with the opening. Look at this, no fear on the way in. Catches Marco. And this here as well, Zest does so well to find this kill. Buzz, again, we saw on the X-ray there how close he was to finding a second through the Viper's Pit, but yeah. stacks. Again, a safe pair of hands for DRX, cleans that one up. That's the first time we've really seen bigger impact coming out from DRX here. Optic have been just so in control so far. How many more looks do Optic have, or did DRX really get much of a read of the grand plan here? Already Zest gonna get a crack of information. That mid lurk coming in as well. A lot of presence there. RB, gotta be careful now, red alert. Yay, FNS marved all on the other side and the exchange of utility to try and neutralize the area. He's left in position there. Surprised not to see him make use of the shock darts. Poison's forcing Optic back down tube. Again, they will Standing refer ahead. back towards a site here. Crash will send out ah, dart towards B and that's it's going to note buzz. Poison's They're going to know exactly where he is with the operator now. Like... On the other I mean, side of things, that's the RB4. It's open for the taking. A is completely vacant. They're fine. They can walk on in. Zest not having what he needs, but actually stacks. Stacks. What? stacks. Got that? Oh, fair enough. Okay, it's back down to a 4v4, apparently. Now, Optic should have a little bit of time to set up in this post plant, though. They should. But they stick around. They're not sitting deep at all. Stax has got the ult here. He has to wait out this suppress, but this is huge. He's got full U2 as well. Six seconds for the knife. With that jumper point near it is. Old gets popped, they gotta make this work. Buzz gonna go first with the operator to hand. Spot a player towards hell, gonna try and do what he can. Dives on in, Victor! Great work, but only for so much. And now stacks in the 1v2, crashes and yay still standing for Optic. They want 12, and they're gonna get 12. The RX, the desperation on the way back in there. The Optic map stand point. strong. They find themselves map point. Ready to force a third here versus DRX. And they've looked fantastic in this second half, Lauren. Yes. So well controlled. That was the spam move from Stacks. The last bullet to find that one. Enemy remaining. Yeah, just a little bit of mistiming there with Buzz trying to dash on with a shorty, make use of it. But like I said, the crossfires 
So robust from Optic. That's a good spot. Oh, well, deja vu here. Finesse Pursuit. A flash this time around, though. It's going to punish. That's different. Nice little adjustment on this yes. push, though, just to enable Buzz. And such a micro adjustment as well. You think that wasn't even just like the last round. That was a, you know, a throwback quite some time ago now. Such a big adjustment. Good way to identify and get that rifle back into hand and dip away. An optic similar setup once again here. Buzz. Let's find that upgrade. And I think actually just spotting one member will be confirmation on the back of Marv's wall coming through. But optic feel as if they got the benefit of this rotation here, but again, now Marco will be noted. Optin looking to close down this kill. Zesty has got to bail him out. He's going to find one. He's good for one. That's, that's given him a chance, right? That's still the rifle on the back of the site. Now you've got RB here. Oh, that was so down to the wire. But Marco, have they, have they kept control? Yes, they have. Crashies finds him. And now you're seeing the numbers start to dwindle for DRX, but they're still going to try and do what they can. Yeah, with the trade though, RB, how much more can you do? Still trying to fight with everything he has. It's down to the 1v1. Trying to beat the res. Yay. Yeah, he's read it. Yay. Do you know what's up? Oh, oh Stacks finds him. Stacks coming through again. The red how? ball clutch for DRX. How? Yay had the read as well. He was so ready. Wow. Oh, Optic actually going to call the timeout here. <laughs> it's a timeout. I mean, the only one missing the money to purchase here being FNS. Yeah, he does have the Tour de Force available, okay. but look at this. You can see just the nice. moment. Oh. Oh, he comes yeah. up onto Rove there. Yeah, he... <sighs> that could have been it right there. The moment. Could have just slipped through the fingertips, potentially. This could be now OT, right? Like, there is such a real possibility of it. But the purchase isn't great either for DRX coming back. Oh, in. no, no. I mean, like, they, they, they've been on the struggle bus for the last few rounds here. They have been. Absolutely. Saving Grace, Hunter's Fury, Bladestorm. Whether or not Zest can find right. anything here, find a kill. Obviously, Buzz, not he can cause any problems yeah. once again yeah. for Optic. Do have the res available, so potential True. here for Buzz to really go deep looking for this. Oh, but what a moment to have to do it. I yeah. mean, Optic have been spread pretty thin, right? We, we, yep. We've seen them kind of probe in both sides and towards mid as well. We've seen Marv and FNS both present in a couple of these rounds. Yeah, I just think back to when Buzz did decide to Ooh. kind of play off the back of that flash from Stacks and find two kills. Yeah. It's a little deeper than you want to go if you want to make use of that res. So whether or not DRX almost keep this in the back pocket here. 10 seconds. This is going to be unbelievable. I didn't think we'd get here. DRX just from the darkest of corners, oh, finding good. just the moments they need. But yay, quick off the rip. He wants that peak. He's happy to take a little bit of the reveal, but backs away now, respecting the damage that could come in on the other side. Set up. So much tighter here from Optic. That B might be the intention. Again, it will be Buzz called upon here for DRX. Actually, will be noted on the back of the knife here. So, Bladestorm unavailable, but he does have the Spectre to fall back on. My ultimate is ready. I have the Spectre. So close to that corner. Flash. Was there a swing? I don't think so. He didn't fully peek around it. He's actually dipped back away. Doesn't want to stick around too late. You're They're right, allowing so the They're fully giving this up, yeah. Now, Hunter's Fury might be something they want to utilize to try and do some damage off it, but they don't find anyone with this. And that was one of the key factors that could have worked pretty well. And now the plant's going to come down. FNS just going to tank what he can, but he's got to get out of danger. And the plant is down. Optic now have the time on their side. Marved again in this late lurk. He could be pivotal for Optic here in this round. The DRX now starting to build their way back in. Yeah, he's going to connect towards Buzz. Danger Man down. Yeah, he finds another. And Optic sending him up. Look at Marv. The timing's Beautiful. gorgeous. The shots are there. And Stax has to face the music. It's a 1v5. This man's good, but he ain't that good. Optic outpaced.